Extracting 3D vectors from a point cloud can be a task that's as important as it is complex, if you don't have the right tool. And that's exactly why, in this video, I want to show you how we do it in Viizer Desktop, in a way that's simple, fast, and honestly, pretty enjoyable once you get the hang of it. So, if you're watching this and you've never worked with 3D vector extraction before, don't worry. You're about to see that it's much easier than it seems. Let's get started. First, of course, we're going to create a brand new project. To do that, go to New Project, choose the location where your project folder will live, create the folder, give it a name that makes sense to you, and select it. The moment you do that, Viizer Desktop automatically generates a series of internal project folders. You don't have to configure anything. It's all ready for you to start working right away. Now let's load a point cloud. You can select one or several, but for this demonstration we're working with just one. And look at this, within a few seconds, the cloud is up, rendered, and ready to navigate. This is one of the things that makes Viizer Desktop stand out immediately. The speed. You don't sit there waiting and staring at a spinner. You drop the cloud in, and boom, it's ready to go. That agility is exactly what we want when working on real projects with real deadlines. After doing a quick inspection of the cloud, we'll save the project with save, and then we'll bring in an ortho mosaic. When you import a.tiff ortho mosaic, Viizer Desktop automatically converts it to .png under the hood. This is done purely to speed up loading times and make your workflow smoother. After a few moments, the ortho mosaic appears perfectly positioned on your project, aligned and ready to use as a reference. Very well. Now we're going to extract the outer contour of this artificial lake. And here's where the beauty of Viizer Desktop really shines. We can switch back and forth between the point cloud and the ortho mosaic depending on which one gives us better visibility at each moment. If the trees get in the way, we go to the ortho mosaic. If the ortho mosaic doesn't show enough relief, we go to the 3D cloud. You choose what works better for each segment of your vector. To make this easier to follow visually, we're going to activate the split screen view. But remember, even if you switch between 3D and map while the 3D vector tool is active, Viizer won't complain. It doesn't lose anything, it doesn't force you to restart, everything stays exactly where it should be. When you're in split or map mode, this is the only tool that Viizer allows for tracing. And that's intentional. It's the only one designed for this precise interaction between 2D and 3D spaces. From here, the workflow becomes very intuitive. You just start clicking to add points, wherever it feels more comfortable for you. Maybe in the cloud, where the shapes are clearer because of the relief. Or maybe in the ortho mosaic, where you have that perfectly clean top-down view. You always pick the best place for each vertex. And that makes the final vector extremely accurate. Now, if at any point you accidentally break the vector or stop drawing earlier than you intended, don't panic. Just click on the last vertex again, and Viizer will continue the same vector as if nothing happened. And if you placed a vertex in the wrong spot, a simple right-click deletes it instantly. As you can see, you have complete control over your workspace in Viizer Desktop. You can resize the windows, decide whether you want both views or only one, and move around however you prefer. In the 3D view, remember you'll use Shift plus drag to pan. In the ortho mosaic, all you need is a simple drag with the mouse. Once you've tried it a couple of times, it becomes second nature. I'm not exaggerating when I say that in about 15 minutes, you'll feel completely comfortable with the tool. Every vector you draw is listed in the output tray, neatly organized and ready for export. And yes, you can export everything as .dxf files, which means you can open your vectors as 3D polylines in Civil 3D or whatever other software you prefer. One last thing, if at any point you press the C key, a small floating tag that says, close, will show up. Click it and the polygon closes instantly. This is especially useful when you're digitizing areas like lakes, buildings, parcels, anything that needs to be closed. And that's pretty much it for this demonstration. If you're watching this and want to try it yourself, you can download the seven-day trial of Viizer Desktop or take advantage of the perpetual launch licenses, which at the time of recording this video are still available. So go ahead, give it a try, and see how much faster and more intuitive your 3D vector workflows can be with Viizer Desktop.